Hello everybody, this is Kiran from iLikeMyiPhone.com and today let's take a quick look at TeamViewer for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Let's get started. So that's the TeamViewer application which you can download for free from the App Store and you need to key in the ID. Oh, there you go. So let's continue. So here you go. So that's my Mac on the iPhone so I can control um, I can control my iTunes it's just a single tab so I can I can move the window So it's, I mean, it because of the screen size, it's it might not be the most intuitive way. But if you're on the go, if you're on the move, and if you have to quickly troubleshoot your friend's PC or your mom's PC or your sister's PC or Mac, uh, this is the best way to do. And moreover, it's free. It's a free app, so you know you have nothing to lose. So I can go. I can switch to a landscape mode portrait mode might not be the best um, best way to go but if you want to quickly log into your browser and do some browser based uh, transactions which you can not do from your iPhone directly because of the limitations with Safari you can do that from your from this app it's, um, I can see my whole Google Chrome setup very clearly on my phone, so it's a very, very, very uh, neat implementation. You just tap once for a single click. Uh, you can use the pinch gesture for zoom in and zoom out functionality. Uh, in this case, I have my Facebook account open and. Um, you can quick, easily, easily browse through my account. So it's it's a wonderful. Um, so let's let's check out National Geographic. And you can uh, the keyboard function. The keyboard is very very cool. Like you can hit all. You can see all the function keys right here. You can. Uh, the special keys so very very well done so here we go that's National Geographic site so that's that's flash right there um, you can see the transitions very clearly uh, which is very good which is not that which might never be possible on an iPhone given Apple stands against flash so flash is not not the best technology for I mean for Macs at least because of the frequent crashes but again it's it's for the user to decide it's not for Apple to actually make a decision on all for on our behalf you know so well that's Apple uh, so there you go so that's that's an that's an example of how a web page will look like on your tiny screen but you can see the whole thing you can just zoom in zoom out uh, what else can you use is for if you are like me and if you do a lot of coda a lot of web development on coda so if I have to change uh, piece of code if I have to do, take ads off if I have to command that's not all possible uh, using uh, directly from your iPhone so you have to remote into your PC to do some uh, in, uh, tasks like those CP intensive tasks so the movies they're not the best of quality because you get a lag uh, when you try watching a movie, but I will try to demonstrate that real quick. 
Let me see if I have. Uh, I ripped a movie. Uh, it's a step up too long back. So you can expect that lag because it's it's uh, the connection is uh, you know uh, it's trying to save some bandwidth by so they have optimized it to not show the video properly I believe so automatically automatic quality selection if I optimize the quality I can see a little bit of improvement but again it takes a lot of bandwidth and you have to be careful uh, if you are roaming especially that's not a very good thing to do on AT&T uh, roaming and data consumption so yeah it's not very uh, it's not a very intuitive approach to actually look at your movie get a movie uh, so so let's not. So that's video. You can use Team Viewer for free uh, if it's non-commercial, um, and you have to purchase it for commercial purposes, which makes sense. So, so there you go. That's uh, Team Viewer for your iPhone. Uh, and one other thing that I noticed is uh, if you. Um, try accessing your browser or your PC or Mac on an iPhone 3G uh, the memory consumption may be an issue because in this case I have an iPhone 3GS which has uh, around 150 megabytes uh, free memory for your applications and it's already down to 72 megabytes uh, so it's fine on um, it's fine on a 3GS uh, iPhone, but not on a 3G because 3G iPhones generally don't tend to get more than 60 to 70 megabytes of free memory, which means it'll be sluggish. It can be a little sluggish um, at times. So, so that's that's a quick review on what Team Viewer has to offer uh, for your iPhone and 3GS or iPod Touch or iPhone 3G for your Mac or PC so that's it for now thank you so much for watching you have a wonderful day